guys, here we are in the Battle Pass Vault. As you can see, I do already own all of them. As you can see, none available. Um, I do have all of them apart from like a few of the Relic. I think I don't have Season 8, the original Season 8, and I got Season 6 and 7. So it's and then from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 of the original seasons I don't have. So yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for some of the original seasons to come out, honestly. But yeah, here is, of course, the Battle Pass Vault. So we have the Chicken White Steel. It's decent. It's twice more than the epic chickens I have. It's, it's um, it's a bit. It's all right. The white and the black go quite nicely together, but it's nothing too special. About a four out of ten, honestly. We have the Sphere Shadow. Uh, gets plus points of being a girl skin. But other than that, it's really, really random and boring. Three out of ten, in my opinion. And we have the Man of War. I can't even say the name. Desecration, desecration, maybe. Kind of models off an airplane, I would say. And this one, this one's actually quite a nice one for the Man of War because the Man of War don't have the best iron sights. Whereas this has, actually has custom iron sights. So if you did want a custom iron sight Man of War that has best iron sights than the base one, then I would say definitely get this one. Uh, stick a, a seasonal skin on it, or seasonal camera on it, or a bit of gold or silk, gold or platinum or whatever, or diamond even. And uh, yeah, you have quite a decent, quite a decent skin, I would say. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Uh, not really my kind of skin, but um, apart from the customized sights, it's a bit. Uh, that's all right, actually. It's going to get a five out of ten. It's better than the uh, better than the other one. The chicken. Then we have the Ethan Flying Shark. That could be the best character skin in this in this one. It's nice and bright and colourful, and it's definitely a different vibe to most of the other character skins. In this in this particular one anyway, it's more of a goofy one I would say because it's got a giant shark mouth of course. I think it's meant to be obviously more modelled off an aeroplane. And so it's going to get a six out of ten. Um, yeah, interesting one, but not again. Yeah, not really one I'd use because I think the robot ones make a bit too much noise. Then we have the Jack Twelve Peggy. This one's a decent one. Um, again, it's got quite quite a cool metallic, and of course the uh, woman on the side as well. Um, yeah, it's meant to be, I think it's meant to be modeled off of a probably an old style plane. Uh, but yeah, a nice metallic feel to it, and it's quite a nice one, I would say. Uh, probably not the best Jack 12, they're better Jack 12 skins, but still, compared to stuff already in the Battle Pass, it's a decent one. So, 6 out of 10, I would say. And then we have the Raya's Scar Pilot. It's not the right one. Not really one of my favourites. A bit boring. This one's more of a, of a realistic um, one, I would say. So again, not really one I like. About 6 out of 10, I would say. No, no, 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Then we have the Locus Overdrive. I, do, I used to use this, this look quite a lot, it's an alright one, it's got some decent detail to it. Um, but overall it's a bit bland I would say, um, but better than some of the other ones on here, so about six, 7 out of 10 I would say. No, 6 out of 10. Then we have the Rave Disruptor. Alright, alright, again another thing I'm asking, so I get some plus points for that. So about a 5 out of 10, it's alright. Again, very bland and boring. Um, not really my kind of skin. If you are into the more realistic kind of battle passes, then this is definitely one for you. Or you just collect battle passes and want a new battle, or want the uh, original, some of the some of the ones you don't have, and you're trying to collect all of them, then maybe this one as well. Then we have finally have the KSP uh, Oxidate, the first KSP skin. Again, this has a, this is decent because it has a custom KSP on site, so if you don't like the KSP, then use this one. But other than that, it's probably the worst worst skin in this battle, worst gun skin in this, in this pass. Uh, it's four out of ten, three out of ten, maybe even. Uh, yeah, the only reason you use it is if you didn't, if it's if you don't like the basic KSP iron size. So yeah, um, four out of ten. Yeah. So overall, not really my kind of battle pass fault. Of course, I already do have it because I bought a battle pass originally. But yeah, not really my kind of skins in this one. I would definitely say more of a if you do like more of the realistic battle passes, then maybe you'll definitely like this one. And so maybe you might want to get something, maybe you want a specific skin out of this, like such for example the Man of War, in which case I would recommend getting it just for that. Because the Man of War on this one is quite paid to win, I would say. But overall, it's alright, not the best, and uh, yeah. 
definitely one that if you had the chance, I would I would I would probably skip um, if I wasn't collecting all the battle passes. But yeah, that's up to you, of course. So yeah. Now let's get into, of course, the uh, we'll probably do a tundra gameplay, just just as gameplay and without any of the. Um, the going through the tundra, I'll, give, I'll probably give the tundra its own video, or when the legendary tundra comes out, I'll give it its own video then. Uh, but over, but at the moment, we're um, yeah, just going to do a tundra gameplay, I would say. So yeah. yeah. 